everyone, my name is Vanessa Rojas. I work with guest relations here at One Senior Place. And today I will be interviewing Nancy Luden with the Jewish Pavilion Senior Services. Hi, it's nice to see you. Hi, it's nice to see you. Thank you for being here today. Happy I'm so, to be here. Thank you. So I just wanted to ask you a couple questions about Jewish Pavilion and the services that you offer, um, your mission, and what it is that you do for our community, the Jewish community okay. specifically. Okay, so. fantastic. Well, uh, the first thing is that Orlando doesn't have a Jewish home for the aged. So in other cities, many of the Jewish families, when their elders have a place that they need to live, will look for a Jewish home. It could be independent living or assisted living or skilled nursing, but Orlando doesn't have anything like that. So we're kind of like a Jewish home on wheels. We currently go to 50 senior communities oh, wow. of those different levels that I mentioned. We have four program directors that visit and they come um, at least once a month they do a Sabbath service or a holiday program. And everything they do in the building um, benefits the Jewish resident, makes them feel that they haven't been forgotten by the Jewish community, but it is for everyone in the building. So if we're having a Hanukkah uh, party or a Passover Seder or any kind of holiday, we invite the whole community to participate, especially in the communities where there only are two or three Jewish seniors. It doesn't feel like much of a party if they're mm -hmm. sitting around the room celebrating um, Tubishvat Seder. They're much happier when more people come and many people enjoy the learning that accompanies these programs. The other thing is that our program is very much about the friendship and the fuss. It's not really a religious program. It's more of a cultural program. We make sure that they have all the right foods associated with the holidays mm -hmm. so that they're able to have a festive life in their elder years. Most homes are geared towards the Christian community and they don't know how to celebrate our holidays. It's not that they're not willing to. And so we work very closely with the activities directors to make sure that everything is really special for each holiday. And we work with the chefs as well. We actually have a Jewish cookbook that we provide all the wow. chefs. It has all the holiday menus mm -hmm. and things like that. And these are professional chefs. So they're happy to try out new recipes and new foods and many of them already know them. So the whole building gets the food and enjoys it. And it's really nice for our residents in particular. I like to say it's almost like it's the Jewish person's birthday party because it's a Jewish person that we're there for, but we're there to celebrate with the whole community. Okay, that's awesome. That sounds very inclusive. It too. is. And then the other thing that we do is we have something called the Orlando Senior Help Desk. This was not part of our original mission. It kind of came out of a need. Um, it started in 2012, but it was always happening. And anyone from um, around the world can call the Jewish Pavilion and receive information about the services they might need for their loved one. So they dial the Orlando Senior Help Desk, which is the same phone number as Jewish mm -hmm. Pavilion Senior Services, and they say, I'm looking for an assisted living facility. Do you have one to recommend? I'm looking for home care. I'm looking for an elder care attorney. I even got, I'm looking for a mobile nail clinic, someone to come to my house, a mobile um, physician's group. All these things are um, requested during the year, low-income housing, of course, and we try to provide them with the best resources available in the Orlando area. We really know the resources, we're up to date on the resources, and it's um, for the Jewish person, they feel very comfortable like they're talking to an aunt or a cousin. They tend to follow our recommendations very closely. We get calls as far as from Israel. You know, a loved one wow. is here and they don't know what to do. You know, grandma fell and now they have no idea what her finances are or what she should do next. So they're kind of in a crisis when they call in many cases, or someone needs emergency assistance because they're out of money today, and they need to know, well, where can I get emergency funds? So we handle a whole breadth of um, different areas and try to get them the resources that are available in the community to the best of our ability. That's amazing. That's a wide range of resources there that yeah. you offer. And it's not for the Jewish community, it's for everybody. Okay. Uh, we get many, many calls. In fact, the majority of our calls are not from the Jewish community at this time. For a long time, they were from the Jewish community. Those were the ones we were kind of doing informally before we uh, formalized the service. And then we do have two websites. Jewish Pavilion Senior Services is one website, which is ge geared towards the Jewish community. And the other website is called the Orlando Senior Help Desk, and it has 90 pages of information about various things a senior might need. That's amazing. So it's really, really helpful um, to have that resource. But most people don't go to the website. Most people call us. It's a very personal, a conversation if you want to put your loved one on hospice you don't want to ask them to go look it up right you want to answer the questions right mm -hmm. away and make a good recommendation that's amazing so it's yeah. a good program that's awesome thank you and so 
I know you mentioned that you go to assisted living facilities independent. Do you go to independent living communities as well? Yeah, we go to and independent, assisted, and skilled nursing, all three. Okay. And uh, we go to about 50 of them. Okay. And do the programs that you bring there, like, depend on where it is that you're going? Like, Yeah, it's a great question, and very rarely do people ask that. So when we're doing a Passover Seder, let's say for someone who has dementia, it's not going to be the Passover Seder that you would see in independent living. Okay. We actually have about 30 different Passover seders and our staff look through the booklets to try to figure out what's right for the population they're serving. We recently did a Passover seder, for example, for the Maitland Chamber where nobody was Jewish. So it's gonna be a different booklet that okay. we're gonna use, a different way of doing it. And sometimes we combine and write our own booklet if we can't find exactly what we're looking for or we skip a few pages, but it's not the same in every, every community. Even the setup is different in every community. The residents are different. You can't do the same thing in each okay. spot. For example, for Passover, which you mentioned, some places have a whole Passover meal. Other places offer very little, and we do what I would call a model Seder. It's kind of what you would have if you were in Sunday school. It has all the traditional foods for the holiday, but it doesn't have chicken and matzo ball soup. It doesn't have the whole meal. So it really okay. depends. Every place is very different. Wow, that's awesome. And that, so, I bet that definitely makes you stand apart as well because you're actually catering to the needs of each group. Yeah, and I tell my staff members, the uh, program directors, that it doesn't really matter what's in the booklet. What mm -hmm. matters is the friendship and the fuss, that you really want yeah. to give them a lot of extra attention. So in the middle of a uh, Sabbath service, if someone starts mm -hmm. to tell you a story, just stop the service and let them tell you the story. Yeah. It might pertain or it might not pertain, but they have something to say and it's mm -hmm. worth it's the time to listen. They really want the attention. So we're not regimented at all by what we come with. We, we adapted to the people in the room. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, I remember years ago, we did a Sabbath service where a little girl came. She mm -hmm. was the great granddaughter of one of the residents and she led the service. She obviously knew the song, so I realized, oh, she could lead it. And I brought her up front and she sang and the people all applauded. It was a very different kind of program, but a very wonderful wow. experience. And now yeah. she's a grown adult and uh, probably leading her own services somewhere. Yeah, that's great. That's very personable. It is, yeah, it's nice. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very personable. Yeah. And so what would you say is your favorite part about working with the Jewish Pavilion? Yeah, I really love the hugging and kissing of the seniors. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday, I was invited to a luau party and I sat with a senior who I've known for the whole 16 years that I've been here. And she had once been a volunteer for us and then she lived in independent living and now she lives in assisted living, life changes, and she's mm -hmm. not who she used to be in terms of all of her skills, but she is who she used to be in terms of a warm and loving person. So I really love the one-on-one -on -one with the seniors. And with the family members. I think that yeah. sometimes giving advice to family members is something I enjoy doing and I feel that I can help them in a time of need. Yeah, that's amazing. That's that nice. goes a long way. Yeah. Thank you for meeting with us today, Nancy. Um, this was a pleasure. So everybody, please check out Jewish Pavilion Senior Services. Their website is on our website as well, onesenioreplace.com, and there will be more information linked under the video. So thank you. I hope everyone enjoys the video and decides to get involved with the Jewish Pavilion Senior Services. Thank you.